Have you ever wondered how a small engine shop cleans these types of components to an almost brand new condition? Well, they do it with an ultrasonic cleaner, and we're going to take a look at one coming up next on Dino's Tinker Shed. Ah! Well, welcome back to the Tinker Shed, everybody. It has been an absolutely fantastic weekend. Um, my daughter and son-in-law came down for Father's Day and they surprised me with a new gift. And that new gift is this ultrasonic cleaner. Now, ultrasonic cleaners have been around for a number of years, but the price on these things has come down enough that they can actually be obtainable for a home tinkerer like myself or maybe you. Now, the first time I ever saw one of these was actually in a jewelry store when I was picking up my wife's wedding ring. And these have been in the jewelry industry for a lot of years. Now, ultrasonic cleaners use any type of uh, um, proper detergent or degreaser that is compatible with them and uses high frequency sound waves to vibrate um, debris and grease and oil and, and corrosion off of uh, different pieces of equipment or metals. What I'm going to be using this for a lot is carburetor repair. They're fantastic in a small engine shop for cleaning small brass components and even the entire aluminum bodies of your carburetors or small parts or just about anything that you have. So this one is heating up still. Um, it's got a small heater built in. Uh, it has a temperature range that you can adjust and then you can adjust the cycle time on it as well. Now I'm going to try it where it sits around 32 degrees Celsius with the temperature inside there. Um, but first I'm going to make a small basket inside of it to hold smaller parts. Let's have a look at this thing a little bit closer to start with. Now this particular ultrasonic cleaner is made by COZ. Um, it's a fairly large container. It holds about four or five liters of, of chemical in it. And as you can see, it has both um, a temperature setting and the current temperature itself being indicated. At this point, it's 34 degrees. And you can adjust that temperature up or down to meet your required needs. Now over here is our timer. So you can set this to function. I'm not sure what the ultimate upper scale of this is. It might have a limit on it, but you can see I go all the way up to half an hour by the looks of it of cleaning possibilities. So I'm going to probably set it for around 15 minutes. I'm going to try it, like I say, at 34 and see what it works like. So what I did is I went to my local um, dollar store and got one of these, just a small strainer that I think if I bend the handle up, I can make it almost like a mini basket within the big basket. So why don't we get working on that while the tank heats up some more. Okay, so here is the main basket and you can see this is pretty sizable. You can fit an entire carburetor into this basket and still have room for other things. What I'm thinking is I will fit this so it sort of hangs through here and hangs down. So the first thing I want to do is bend these two tabs down without breaking these I'm sure incredibly strong welds here.
Well, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to throw in a few old jets that I have kicking around, and I think I'll throw this entire carburetor in over here, and we'll see how this thing works. Let's give it a try. Now this looks great. Look at how clean this is. It, it, it vibrated all of the uh, all of the dirt off of this carb body that just looked terrible. Look at how good the brass looks now. And even all the little brass parts here, they look great. They're still, you know, they're not perfect. But I'm gonna rinse these off. And you remember how grungy those little things were. Look like look at them now. They look uh, they look really, really good. So I'm pleased with the results on this. I can't wait to try it on a real project which is coming up soon I've got something a little bit special that I want to try working on and I think that this ultrasonic tank is going to really help now overall I think the build quality on this particular um, unit is really really well now I didn't ask the price because obviously it was a gift but it is extremely well made the basket the the drain valve and all the buttons have a nice feel to them and the power cord and switches really seem really nice on it. And I don't think you can really argue with the results here. It really did a good job of scrubbing and cleaning and all the nooks and crannies. And the nice thing about this is it gets into the galleries and all of the jet tubes on this and vibrates the stuff out. All the grime and the varnish that you can have build up in a carburetor. And I think you can really see it when you compare what it looked like originally. Um, to what it looks like now. So you can really see, compared to the old, to the new, how good of a job it really did. Wow, what a fantastic tool this ultrasonic cleaner is. I cannot tell you how well it cleaned that old carburetor that I had sitting around here for years. I believe that it's so clean you could probably put it back together and put it directly into uh, a snowmobile again. Now in the end, I ran a 15 minute cold cycle at around 35 degrees Celsius and a 20 minute hot cycle around 55 degrees Celsius and then just basically took the whole basket to the sink and rinsed it in warm water and cleaned the parts off, dried them with uh, compressed air afterwards. Now the results were outstanding. And I would say that if you have the budget and the room in your shop, this is probably a great addition for you, especially if you do a lot of work on small chainsaws, lawnmowers, or power sports like I do. And don't forget, you can use this to clean things like jewelry as well. It's very, very cross-functional in the way it works. Now, again, I have to thank my daughter and my son-in-law for buying me this ultrasonic cleaner for my Father's Day gift. It is incredibly thoughtful and it is incredibly supportive of the work that I'm doing here in the Tinker Shed. And I hope that you appreciate the, the purchase as well and the review that I've done on this. And maybe it might help you to make a decision whether or not to add one of these to your inventory of weapons to get stuff working out in your Tinker Shed. So I'm Dino. Thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on Dino's Tinker Shed. This thing is outstanding. I can't wait to try some more stuff.